Are you ready to get your shack on? Um, the shack line starts here. Shaquille O'Neal. Wow, this is definitely the most expensive uh, burger place we've seen in the fills. Can it beat Sweet Ecstasy? That's the real question here. We will answer that question soon. We will. Hey, friendos. Oh my gosh, it's an earthquake. We're at the Shake a Shack a Shake. I've tried a shake here at the Shake a Shack a Shake, but never tried any of the food in the Philippines at the Shake a Shack a Shake. One of the reasons we have never tried any of the food here at the Shake a Shack a Shack is because we got two burgers and some fries and it sold out to 1,025 pesos. That is steep. You could get a lot cheaper burgers at other places, but would they be as good? Angel Burger? Mm -hmm. That's a lot cheaper. We're gonna test out some of this food, see how it is. I've only had Shake Shack, I believe, once in the United States, and I just got a burger, so uh, we'll see how it compares. The only thing we can really compare it to is other burger places in the Philippines, I think, because I only I got a shake at Shake Shack before. A Shake Shack at a Shake Shack? Shake Shack at Shake Shack. Ooh, it's time to eat. The presentation, I mean, the burgers look like they were put together well, but they look fake. It, it looks like a toy almost. For almost seven dollars, it's they're really small. That's not a big burg. So you're telling me you're not gonna be full after this meal? I definitely not. I think I'm ready to drink like eight milk teas after this. Oh really? Yeah. For this price, you could get six Angels burgers. If you guys want the burger tier list. Let we'll us know. We'll do it with just Angel Burgers. Yeah. Each chain, each location. We'll do an Angel Burger uh, shawarma challenge like we did in India. Try to eat like 10 of them. Did you just eat a tomato? I will say that's a high quality tomato. So the ingredients are fresh, but yeah. how is the taste? I got the Smoke Shack burger and he just got the normal burger. Let's go. The buns are really soft. The meat is also soft. Mine is good, spicy, like the peppers have a nice spice to them. The bacon's good quality. It is a delicious burger, I gotta say. The bread is nice and buttery. Why is the burger so small? I don't know. For the price, look at how thin that thing is. The one that I get at Sweet Ecstasy is pretty expensive, the double one, but that one's massive. And not to mention the toppings for the burger is literally just sauce, cheese, tomato, lettuce. The sauce Thank is tasty though. It is. I mean, it's good, I feel like it might not be as good as the one in the U.S. I remember biting into it and being like, whoa, this is so good. And I believe I got that after I got In-N-Out and I was, I thought it was significantly better than In-N-Out in the U.S. But I guess I don't know because I haven't had it in so long. It's a pretty good burger. The beef here is kind of like squishy almost. I think it's better compared to Zark's. Yep, it's better than Zark's for sure. I, we haven't had it Sweet Ecstasy for almost a year, so I don't know if I can put it up to that unless we try it again soon. Sweet Ecstasy is so good, that's all I know. So good. It's a good burger, it's pretty good. The peppers are nice and spicy, a little bit sour. I'm sure, like, at least if you like spicy things, it elevates it to another flavor profile that you can't get from just a normal burger. We also got the like new limited edition fry. It's like some sort of Korean fry. There's not a four. Is there more silverware up there? Uh, possibly. Let's dive into these. These could potentially be spicy. I can't tell if they're just really spicy or if they just have a strong smell. Could be both. Let's find out. Right here, right now. I bit into a spring onion. Oh, not too spicy. Kind of has like a sweet ham flavor to it. Yeah, there's definitely bacon chopped up on this fracker. Oh, it's a bit spicy for me. They're pretty good. We used to get loaded fries all the time. All the time. That was like a go-to. I haven't got them in a long time. Yeah, these are pretty tasty. It was um, 270 though, which is pretty steep for a little thing of fries. But it's special edition Korean fries. The US is weird because places like this become trendy and they're just so overpriced. But the, the, the quality's better, but it's just so much more expensive. They're literally more expensive than sit-down restaurants yeah. sometimes. Ah, now that places like this are so popular, we haven't been back in really a while. And when we were back for two months, we didn't really buy that many things, but it seems like the prices for the places that used to be cheap 
are also kind of coming up with the expensive places. It seems like the average McDonald's meal is like $10. They're like five, 600 pesos. That's, that's what happened. That's plenty enough for two to three people here in the Philippines. Shake Shack is pretty good. I don't know if it's as good as I haven't had it in a while, but it's pretty good. Is the price justified? What I will say is it's good enough for me to want to come back, but the price is not good enough for me to want to come back. All right, finishing Shake Shack, final thoughts. I'm a bit disappointed by the, oh wow, Din Tai Fung, it's way more popping than Shake Shack. They just gotta be from Taiwan. I ended up being a, a bit disappointed by the bun. The bottom bun got super wet and it was literally just turning into a mush at the bottom by the end. The, the fries also got a little, uh, like the first bite, you're like, oh, this is pretty good. But then after a while, you kind of get sick of them. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't recommend the fries. Yeah, I just, just get the plain fries. Overall, solid. <laughs> Worth the price? No. no.